Here at Nats, we provide air traffic control and navigation services to aircraft flying in UK controlled airspace and over the eastern part of the Atlantic. Each year, we handle more than 2 million flights, carrying over 220 million passengers safely to their destinations. But how do we do it? How do we ensure the safety of such high volumes of traffic travelling in and out and over the UK? I like to think of it a bit like a highway network in the sky. Our airspace is crisscrossed with well-established airway corridors that we think of like roads. They're usually 10 miles wide and at least 5,000 feet high and they run up and down and side to side across the UK. By using these sky roads and by following tried and trusted navigational procedures, our air traffic controllers can ensure there is the required separation between aircraft, particularly where the airways cross. And that separation Keeping the distance between aircraft, well that's the key to a safe operation. Look at an example. Say you were flying from Heathrow to San Francisco. Before you arrive at the airport, your airline have filed a flight plan detailing the route they would like the flight to take. Nats evaluates every flight plan, working with the airlines to consider factors like fueling, traffic patterns and weather conditions to plan an optimum route. Once passengers are on board, the flight crew will speak to the ground and departure controllers who sit in the airport tower for directions onto the runway and then into the sky. Many people think that all air traffic controllers are located at airport towers. In fact, in the UK, the great majority are based at the Nats 2 custom-built facilities at Swanwick in Hampshire and Prestwick in Ayrshire, Scotland. Controllers in the airport tower are responsible for clearing aircraft to land and take off and for coordinating ground movements. But almost as soon as your flight is airborne from Heathrow, it will be passed over to a team of controllers based at Swanwick. Nats manages traffic through some of the most complex airspace in the world, covering area above southern England and the five London airports. In this busy area, all aircraft must be separated by at least three nautical miles in front and behind and to the sides, and a thousand foot above and below. Planes taking off in this region are allocated a standard departure route before takeoff. As the aircraft leaves the London area, separation is increased to five nautical miles, and their progress is carefully monitored and directed by Swanwick until they reach the Scottish or Oceanic airspace. Depending on the wind over the Atlantic, your Heathrow to San Francisco flight would then be guided north or west along defined airways through Scottish airspace, where the Prestwick team would take responsibility for your progress. Next, controllers at Prestwick, responsible for the oceanic airspace, would give you a clearance for your flight to be directed out onto the transatlantic airways. Prestwick controllers continue to monitor all flights over the ocean, where the aircraft must be separated by 10 minutes worth of distance between the aircraft in front and behind, and 60 nautical miles side to side. Finally, at 30 degrees west, Canadian air traffic controllers take over. So, that gets you out of the UK, but how do you get back? For the return flight, Nats would similarly assume responsibility at 30 degrees west and guide your plane right down to landing at Heathrow. The controllers at Swanwick stay in charge and manage your descent and any holding required before lining your aircraft for landing in the most efficient order possible. Safety is the number one priority in everything Nats does. We manage traffic across a vast area covering over 3 million square kilometres and an average of 6,000 flights each and every day of the year. NATS controllers are a most valuable resource for ensuring safety. Before ever speaking to an aircraft, controllers go through two to three years of training, which equips them to deal with any eventuality. Of course, their education doesn't stop at the end of the course. Controllers train throughout their career to keep their skills sharp and up to date with the latest technology and procedures. Our air traffic controllers are assisted by leading edge systems and technology to enable them to make key decisions for the safe and efficient operation. That's this fusion of leading infrastructure, developed processes and highly trained people keeps the Skyways network running smoothly and safely over the UK. So the next time you take off, remember the dedicated air traffic control team watching over you.